Hey everyone, it's Canadian Edition here, back with another War Thunder video. Today we're playing some uh, realistic battles, some French low tier machines here. Um, one, one thing I will say about the French low tier machines, this is a, this is a little premium guy I got here for uh, 250 Golden Eagles. Um, they're all crap. The best French low tier machine in my opinion is actually the anti-aircraft gun, the first one that you get sort of looks like a little farm tractor. Uh, this one, the reason why it's crap, is it only has two crew members, so all it takes is a tiny piece of shrapnel to knock out either your your man in the turret or in the hull, and you're and you're out of action. You can't drive the t you can't play War Thunder with just one crew member. So yeah, two crew members. Um, nothing really special about this tank. It's not the fastest. It's not the best looking, it doesn't have the best armor, it doesn't have the best gun. <clears throat> it's sort of just terrible. Um, but yeah, this map's pretty fun anyway. I like this map. Can't remember what it's called, to be honest. <laughs> but it's it's a good map if you ever get this one. If you recognize the, uh, the design there. A and B are located in the city. And uh, C is, is over on the other side of the lake there. But we're moving into town with our little French dinky machine. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the French machines. I tend to think they're all junk. I don't really play French tanks anymore or French planes. I mean, I have a few biplanes I fly. And, like, I play these little dinky tanks every once in a while when I'm bored. But I don't, I don't really get a, lot, a good kick out of the French, to be honest. I find other nations do it better, so... Let me know what you guys think about the French in the comments below. But, um, <laughs> this thing can't even break through the little concrete thing. You can see we gotta take the gate side. You see, we're moving into the city here, looking for some enemies. We're, uh, heading in between B and A here. And yeah, I've been, I've been playing a lot of War Thunder lately. I'm loving this game. Uh, they're just about to release helicopters. Oh, enemy tank. And we're dead. We took a long time to line that shot up, and that guy killed us for it. As you can see, all he did was knock out one crew member, and we're done. So, this is the uh, AA, the P7, the P7TAA, with the 13.2, four 13.2 machine guns. Um, this vehicle is really fun to play. You can see it's really dinky looking. It's just got two guys sitting in the front of this like tractor thing with like, it almost looks like a grocery tractor with like a guy in the back gun, but if you see those four 14.5 millimeter machine guns, this thing's beast. And one thing I want to talk about in this video is how much fun is it shooting down planes with AAs? Am I the only one that loves it? Like I absolutely love shooting down planes with AA, AA tanks. First of all, AA tanks cost, look at that, look at that shot. That was one of my better shots. AA tanks cost nothing to um, to use. They're like 100 spawn points. And planes cost so much. They're like 600 or more. So shooting down a plane with an AA truck just feels so awesome. And this is definitely one of the better ones there. You saw us snipe that guy out of the sky. So we got an enemy tank over there. So we're going to try and move into position to take him out. It's funny, we're doing better with the AA truck than we were doing with the, uh, oh! I took out his, uh, commander there. And we're reloading. And we take out his transmission. And cause another fire. And we're re reloading again. So you can see we're actually doing pretty well with this, uh, with this little French, uh, French thing here. There we go, target destroyed. We kill uh, kill an M13 tank, which is a, another AA tank, I think, or it could be a tank destroyer, the Americans. But yeah, we knocked out a plane, and we knocked out a tank so far, with our little French tractor here. But what I wanted to make this video mainly about is how much fun is it playing AA tanks. Um, it's so much fun. One thing I will say is it's quite hard. I suggest you guys look up a couple War Thunder videos on how to play the AA tanks. 
One tip I will give you in this video is if you're just starting, don't use the crosshairs. Just press square to zoom in and use like the circles um, as your crosshair. Like you see here, you just press square to zoom in and you'll, you'll get a better view. Um, don't use the aiming reticule because it does make things a lot harder. It's easier to follow planes with just the little circles. But yeah, I highly recommend that everyone's loadout. They have at least one AA vehicle, you know, at least one plane. And then try to mix it up with either light, medium, tank destroyer, or heavy tank. Try to keep those all mixed up. Um, that way your spawn points aren't, you know, jerking you hard. Like, for every medium tank you tank in your lineup and get knocked out, it's going to increase the spawn cost for the next medium tank. So you can see we got a plane coming in here. And we're not too happy about that. So we're just going to line them up with the guns and hopefully take them out. But yeah, this little French beast here, I gotta say, I'm a huge fan. So we're trying to get a... So for long distance shooting, you can use the crosshairs if you think you're an experienced, more experienced shot. You can see we're trying to line this guy up here. But um, I highly recommend using just the, uh, just the zoom in feature if you're new because it is harder to follow the planes when you're just looking in the crosshairs like I am now so I think um, when I was playing this game I wasn't actually thinking of using anything but the crosshairs as you can see but it does certainly make it challenging when they're flying around close like that we're gonna try and get in a better position As you can see, this piece of junk is not the fastest. There's still no sign of an um, enemy plane. But yeah, I highly recommend playing some AA. They're frustrating at first, especially in realistic battles where you don't get the uh, lead indicator until you get the radar guided. So, um, but just persevere, you know, try to see where your shots are going, don't just fire like a madman, try to like fire a couple bursts, see where they're going and uh, readjust. And, um, oh, we got an enemy plane coming in here. And when you do finally shoot your first plane down, you're going to feel great, trust me, you're going to feel like a boss. I remember the first time I shot a plane down, I was like, yeah! <laughs> I was just like, I jumped up out of my seat and everything. I'm trying to get some shots on this guy here. He's coming in hot. He's, he's, he's fucking dinging us big. I'm trying to get some shots on him here. Oh, he's coming in, he's coming in, he's coming in. Ooh, he just flew over our head. Looks like a Japanese plane. Gonna try and line them up. Yeah, no sign of him. He's in the tree line. Oh, here he comes. Oh, he's 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 dodging. He's dipping and dodging. Oh god. Oh, this is looking bad. Oh no no! Our gunner's down. Our gunner's down. Our gunner's down and both our front seat drivers are orange. Oh no. Oh, we got the guns up. Trying to hide behind the house. Where the hell are the planes? Oh, they're right behind me. Oh shit, I'm reloading. Bad time to reload. Try and line them up. Line them up. Oh, I can hear another one coming in. Oh, critical hit. Oh, yeah, his wing just got shot off. He's going down. Oh, yeah, look at him. Oh, God, he's going down. Look at this. This is the most satisfying thing ever. Look at this. This is what happens when you play AA. Look at this. Well, it's hard to see when we're getting shot, but... Oh, we got another one, another one. 
Will we get the shots? Will we get the shots? Oh no! Killed by an A13 Mark 1. British tank. But yeah, that's my AA video, guys. I highly recommend you get out there and shoot some planes down. It's great fun. Thanks for watching. And uh, please leave a comment, like, or subscribe. Bye.